Hi, I'm Adam Rombell, Editor-in-Chief of the Central New York Business Journal here on Friday, April 5. With some thoughts on this morning's U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, March Jobs Report. Bottom line, the report was very disappointing, much weaker than expected. 88,000 jobs were added by U.S. employers in March compared to economists' forecast of 200,000 jobs. The 88,000 figure was also substantially down from the 268,000 jobs that U.S. employers added in February. The unemployment rate actually improved, falling to 7.6% in March from 7.7% in February. But that was because 496,000 people dropped out of the labor force in March. These include people who are discouraged um, and can't find a job and stop looking for work. And when that happens, they are not counted in the calculation of the unemployment rate after they've stopped looking for work for a certain period of time, as the BLS defines it. And the number of people actually employed in March, in fact, fell by 206,000, according to the BLS's separate household survey. The 88,000 jobs figure that I gave at the beginning, that figure is from the BLS's establishment survey. The already historically low labor force participation rate fell to a 34-year low of 63.3% from 63.5% in February. We, we've been, as I've talked about many times on these videos, we've been at 30-year lows in the labor force participation rate for a while now. Now we're at a 34-year low. Factoring, factoring in population growth, the number of people not in the labor force in March jumped by 663,000 to a record 90 million Americans. Again, that's people not working and not looking for work. Locally, we have higher unemployment rates than the U.S. as a whole. 9.4% in the Syracuse area, 9.8% in Utica, Rome, and 9.8% in Binghamton, according to the latest data on February issued this week by the New York Labor Department. So again, compare those numbers to the 7.6% for, for the nation. The New York Labor Department is going to put out March data on unemployment and also jobs added in a couple of weeks. So of course we'll be here to track it all. So back to the National BLS report just to do a quick uh, recap. Again, 88,000 jobs added in March, far below the 200,000 consensus forecast of economists and um, lots of bad numbers in terms of labor force participation, the size of the labor force, and the number of people not in the labor force. So there's really no way to gloss this over. This March BLS report was a terrible jobs report. Once again, I'm Adam Rombell, Editor-in-Chief of the Central New York Business Journal.